Hello everyone, how are you on this fine Alolan evening? Now, what this video is going to be about is things that you can do to prepare yourself for when Pokeband comes out. If you are just now playing Pokemon Sun and Moon as your first Pokemon game ever, don't feel like this video is not for you. This video will help you if you decide to get Pokemon XY or Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. So, I'm in the PC. Alright, so let's back up just a little bit here. Well, actually... We're going to be talking about this screen. On this screen, you want to go to here, right? As you can see, I have unlocked the entire storage. To do this, put one Pokemon in each box. Leave the PC. Then, load up the game again. Or, load up the, uh, the PC again. You'll have more boxes. So, you're going to need to catch a bunch of Pokemon. You'll need to catch what? 24, at least, right? No, 4 by 4, 6, 32. You'll need to catch at least 32 Pokemon, put one in each box until you have all the boxes. Um, this is pretty good storage, you know, for your first time playing through, but, you know, if you're, if you've been playing Pokemon for many years, as I have, Pokebank is very, very useful. So, now that's not really a prerequisite, but if you're transferring all your old Pokemon and you don't want to leave them on the Pokebank, which I typically don't, um, you know, it's it's good to have that ready. Uh, I'm actually waiting to transfer my Pokemon and then I should have the entire Alola Dex completed as well as the National Dex too, because I do have all the Pokemon. Now, we are in, where are we at? Heya Heya City? He he City? Heya Heya? Um, the town that you're in when you first get off the, uh, when you first come to Akawa Island. Now, what you want to do is you want to head down the street, through here, go up, and then we're going to go into the Dimensional Research Laboratory. Now, for those of you who played Pokemon Dream Radar, you'll remember that Burnett was actually featured in that game. Uh, it was the only way that you could get the, uh, alternate forms for uh, Landorus, Tornadus, and uh, Thunderous. So, in Sun and Moon, they want you to be able to get those forms as well. So, here's Burnett from that game, and yes, this is Professor Kukui, Kukui's wife. So, we're going to talk to her. You must, in order to do this, have beaten Olivia, Akala Island's Kahuna. This transform now this will let you transform Landorus, Thunderous, and Tornadus back and forth between their forms. Uh, is revealed glass. It's a looking glass that changes the shape of Tornadus, Thunderous, and Landorus. Mirrors can be scary, can't they? Sometimes after I work through the night, I look in the mirror and I seem to see a stranger staring back at me. Right. Now, we have one more stop. But I had to go outside and this is where Charizard comes in. Um, well, actually, two more stops to make. So, three. I know I totally plotted out what I wanted to do. So, while we're on Akala Island, we're going to go to right here. The Pokemon Breeding Center in, on Akala Island. Uh, if you're still playing through or haven't gotten to Akala Island yet, this mill tank will heal your Pokemon for you. So the good thing about the Breeding Center in this game is that first, well, first, right, and we're, we're going to use the PC again soon, but um, you want to go and get an Eevee egg from her. Now. Afterwards, she'll tell you the hidden powers of your Pokemon, so if you want to use the move Hidden Power, you know what type it will turn into when your particular Pokemon uses it. Also, the Breeding Center doesn't level up your Pokemon anymore, it just has them create eggs. It's very easy to level up anymore, so, you know, and there's the Pokepelago, which you can rely on as well. Um, this is important because those eggs will help you to get the, uh boxes full a lot faster but also once you hatch 20 eggs 
and you have access to Pony Island, and this will be after you've beaten the game and completed the story, um, when you're doing the, the stuff with the Ultra Beasts. You want to go to the Battle Tree on Pony Island. Too much glare. Alright. When you, now, I've already completed this task, but there will be an ace trainer standing right here. If you've hatched at least 20 eggs, he'll say, he'll enable the judge system. So, we're going to boot up the PC one more time. Now, with the judge system, right, this is how it looks normally when you're looking at a Pokemon, right? So, here's my Alolan uh, Vulpix that I got in a Wonder Trade. Um, it has its hidden ability and it's timid, so I was like, cool, I'll use this. Now, there's a button at the bottom of your lower screen after you talk to that ace trainer. You see, it's the judge button, so when you hit it, this changes how you see the top menu. And now, you can see the individual values or IVs of your Pokemon. So as you can see, this little Vulpix has one, two, three, four good IVs, and its defense ain't bad either. Uh, it doesn't really need attack because it's a special attacker, so this one is really good. This indicates that it had Pokerus. Um, I somehow got Pokerus from somewhere, I don't even know where I got it from, but cool. Um, this will let you see, and this is, uh, I actually caught this one myself, a shiny rock rock, which is now a, uh, lichen rock, and as you can see through the shiny chaining, which I'm sure there's plenty of videos on, so I won't get into. But this lets you see, and this is my starter relic. <laughs> Not as impressive as the SOS chain, as far as the individual values go, but uh, he can take some hits. Oh, but his attack is no good. Oh, that's terrible. I shouldn't be showing that. So let's get off the PC. Now, <clears throat> again, and don't feel like because you're... You haven't been playing, but this is mostly for the players that are transferring their Pokemon. You want to go to Howley City. Specifically, the shopping district. Not the outskirts, or the cemetery, the shopping district. So what we're going to do is, next, we're going to go into the shopping center. Now, this was closed in the demo. Now, you want to go up here. And this is where the antique shop is, right? So, actually, I'm going to talk to each of the people here. So, first is... Okay, so this is where you can teach your starter Pokemon. If it's a Fire-type, Blast Burn. If it's a Grass-type, uh, Frenzy Plant. If it's Water-type, Hydro Cannon. Uh, this is the Hyper Training person, which is only really cosmetic from what I understand. And this, again, is for the starter Pokemon to learn Grass Oath, Fire Oath, and Water Oath, respectively. Or is it Pledge in America? Uh, I'm so used to the anime. Anyway, uh, there's a very this is a very select antique shop. There is only one of each of the treasures that you can find in our shop. So the Adamant Orb is for Dialga, and it powers up his dragon and steel moves. The Lustrous Orb is for um, Dialga. Uh, it powers up its water and its dragon moves. The Grisius Orb, on the other hand, transforms Giratina from its origin form to its altered form. Or did I get that backwards or completely wrong? Next is the Red Orb, which transforms Groudon into its primal form. Same thing with Kyogre. So we're going to hit no thanks. And if you're one of the lucky people that happens to have Arceus... Um, here's the sky plate, zap, stone, iron, fist, dread, splash, pixie, plates. Uh, you can find the plates are out and about in, uh, the Alola region, but you'll need the help of your trusty, uh, Herdarier to help you find them. I believe one of them was on the beach. Um, Arceus is basically what, um... Type Null, Savali, is, you know, a better version of. Uh, the Arceus system is where Type Null gets its ability from. That's what the name is. 
So, these are the things that I feel that if you have them unlocked for when Pokebank becomes available, you'll be set and ready to use your, um, you know, your best legendaries and also you'll be set and ready to move them into your game and you'll have access to all your Pokemon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative and I hope I've encouraged maybe a little bit some of the newer players to try out some of the older gens so that they might reap the rewards from having transferred this Pokemon. So until next time, Alola!